cornrows for the win. You have anything you want to say? Hey y'all, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another little update. So as you see in the title, this will be Skylar's six month baby update. I'm gonna tell you guys everything you need to know. Please don't mind my scarf. Y'all, y'all see I got cornrows in, so we're just gonna leave it at that. So if you are new to our channel, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button comment down below and let us know what you think what other videos you guys would love for us to do and we will do it for you guys so we're just gonna go ahead and get into this video so i know y'all probably wonder like what skylar at matter of fact y'all she is right here in her swing can y'all hear it exactly so she's in her swing right now she just got done drinking her milk so um i have everything on my phone that i need to know it's like when she went to her doctor's appointment you know so and I have the paperwork the paperwork the paperwork we're gonna start off with her height so I'm pretty quite sure they said she was 24 inches so I am going to clarify that right now because her appointment was maybe like two weeks ago I think so, her, hmm, I don't know y'all. I believe they said her weight is 24 inches. So she went from, when she was first born, she was 19, I'm talking about 19. Yeah, she was 19 and a half inches. And then her, or she's 21 inches. Y'all, if I knew how to read this, I would definitely let y'all know, but, I don't know how to read this. They told us, but it's kind of like, they only wrote her weight at the top. Because when you look at this, it's literally just a darn it chart. Yeah, anyway, so you guys, um, I believe she's either 21 and a half inches or she's 24 inches, that's it. Anyways, so her weight. So you guys may not know, but when she went to her appointment, basically um she had like something was on her arm she had got bit by something but we're not too sure what she had got bit by so yeah uh they basically say it was an insect bite or something like that but my job we do not take her outside or anything like that but it could have been like you know when we were just out you know uh going to going into the stores or something like that so she went to an appointment in april no she went to an appointment in march uh like two days before we moved or a day before we had to move and well anyway she went to an appointment they prescribed her with hydrocortisone and some other type of cream y'all she was staring at me that's why she making noise so don't mind her but um and when she went then they said she was 14 and a half pounds that was the spot for i believe that was two months ago if i'm not mistaken yeah so that was March 28th when I discovered it on her arm and she went to the doctor, I believe, two days later. She went March 31st. Well, she had an appointment March 31st. So when she went then, um, she was 14 and a half pounds, 15 pounds. So when she went to her six month appointment, she was actually 19 pounds, you guys. 19 pounds now i'm not sure if that was really accurate or not because yeah i don't know so yes she's 19 pounds and if you guys see me looking down i'm looking at my phone i have stuff written down in my notes just so i won't uh forget about it because normally when i do these type of videos i get it from the dome so no but y'all for real so the next thing is how's her sleep schedule what is she doing when she sleeps? So, basically, y'all, when she, before she turned one month, um, I had got her on a schedule for her to sleep throughout the night. I was not playing. Like, I need my sleep just as well as you need your sleep. But it kind of worried me only because she was only four weeks or five and one night she just slept throughout the night like she just slept throughout the night like i put her to sleep around 11 
o'clock and she did not wake back up until seven or, seven or eight o'clock that morning and i jumped up out my sleep in the middle of the night because normally a newborn is supposed to feed between two to three hours like they're supposed to wake up two to three hours to eat or whatever but however she did not so that's that's another thing so um i just kept that going because i wanted her not to basically i wanted tony to get all of his rest or whatever because when she would wake up in the middle of the night she would wake up we used to go to sleep around let me get her y'all hold on y'all she just could not wait y'all look at her hair like hmm so yeah anyway so um i wanted tony to get all of his sleep at night because we would go to sleep around well at first we was going to sleep around seven six or seven in the daytime like that's when we was just going to sleep it was maybe like the sun probably was just going down maybe about seven eight o'clock and she would wake back up around 12. so i was like no i need to figure out what i need to do to try to get her to sleep at night and so i tried putting her to sleep a little bit later and boom so um yes to this day she's six months she's about to be seven months in a couple of days y'all it's i recorded this video june 19th so y'all getting this video either the same day or the next day so june 20th so happy juneteenth you guys so um but yes yeah, so um as of as of today scarlet still sleeps throughout the night um but the problem is you know um since she sleep throughout the night and we we well she don't get up till almost one two o'clock in the afternoon um i try to keep her up but you guys i still give her two naps a day so when she wakes up she don't take a nap i let her come in here she she get in her bouncer then i let her play on her play mat with her little piano and then i transfer her to her swing so it'll be like two to three two two or four hours later and i give her a bottle and around six seven o'clock boom she's taking a nap so i'm cool with that so then she gets back up um we watch a tv uh she playing on the piano and then it's probably around 10 11 o'clock there she is it, uh she's taking another nap so then after she wakes up um around one o'clock i'm actually like one o'clock in the morning i'm actually like preparing her to go to bed um i don't give her no more bottles um after she wakes up from her second nap um because i want her to go to bed on a full stomach and not wake up so uh yes you guys she's still sleeping throughout the night and i am very proud because i thought it was going to be hard for me to you know get her on a sleeping schedule but you guys Skylar sleeps throughout the night and I'm very proud. I'm very happy that she sleeps throughout tonight. Y'all, this is the best. I just got her bib on so it make it look funny. But say hey pretty girl. Say hey. Okay, so let's continue because you guys um I'm not sure when my battery is gonna start blinking, so whatever. Anyways, well, how is her eating habits? So um at first like a month ago or whatever i was still just giving her four ounces because one day we tried giving her around six ounces and she i'm assuming that was just a little too much so every week i would gradually go up so um last month after you know we encountered that she threw up the um six ounces of milk well she didn't throw all of that she just like spit up or whatever because she do not spit up anymore but she did spit up then yeah i'm talking about you and so when she had spit up i was like let me just let me just have her to drink five ounces and uh she took the five ounces really really well so i was like okay then i'm gonna just go up you know in about two or three more weeks and so now she she literally drank six ounces but when we go to bed i kind of put it between six between six and eight so she still does that and another thing is i know y'all probably wondering like are you still breastfeeding so are you still breastfeeding so you guys i am not 
breastfeeding anymore. It was a pleasure and an honor to breastfeed her up until she was six months. But um, my milk definitely slowed down and I was trying to figure out how can I get my milk back up because I just I just completely wanted to just breastfeed her. Like I just wanted to breastfeed. I did not want to do anything else, but um, like I say, if y'all have not seen like the first update or anything like that, um, she probably using the bathroom, y'all. <laughs> but um, um, I definitely breastfed her. I, I breastfed her, and I also pumped. So she got bottles, but I believe um, at night she only got formula. Yeah, at oh lord, at night she only got formula. So. Um, yeah, I did not breastfeed anymore. My milk slowed down, but I was still latching her on. It was kind of like I couldn't pump anything out, but it was some coming out, but not enough to store. So I would just. I would just uh, latch her on and she would drink like that, but I have not latched her on in probably in over a week. So, yeah. That's the end of my breastfeeding. But I'm very happy that I did get to breastfeed her. Y'all, let me go put her down because she's not going to let me be great. See, y'all, my battery is blanking right when I came back. But so let's try and finish. No, y'all, let me go change my battery and I'll be right back. Okay, so y'all, we definitely got to make this quick because uh, this battery only has yeah. two bars. So it's really going to start blinking in any second. So, um, yeah. I'm not breastfeeding anymore. Um, I'm pretty bummed about it, only because I enjoyed breastfeeding, but it has come to an end now. So, um, but I'm very grateful that I got to breastfeed her up until six months. Like, right? that's definitely good for me. So, next thing is, um, what type of activity? See y'all, this battery is blanking. But anyway, so if y'all see a different quality, I had to record on my phone, I do apologize. But, so, what activities are she doing or is she doing any activities? So you guys, um, she sits up on her arm pretty well, but she still falls over. And also, um, she pretty much uh, get into the crawling position, but she do not attempt to crawl. So she will get into the crawling position as if like one leg is up above the other or whatever. And she will literally start whining. Like, why you do that? So I believe she thinks she's stuck. So, like right now, she's leaned over on her side and she's gonna get stuck. Well, act like she's stuck. Um, she's not walking yet, she's not crawling. Um, is she saying mama, dada, well? She is not saying neither one, but it's actually pretty close when she says dada. She beat in her swing and she tries to reach up to get her little toys that's circling above her. And she'll be like, die, 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 die. And it'll sound like that. And sometimes she actually says it. So that's pretty much what she's doing. So, um, you guys, I got one of the batteries charging. So I will be back when that battery charge some because I refuse to record it on my phone because that's just doing too much. I gotta transfer these files over and I gotta transfer it off of my SD card. So I will be back once that battery gets done charging. Like, why these batteries not charged? I could've sworn I charged them, but I'll be back y'all. Okay, so she is, um, in a crawling position but not really almost as if she's in a crawling position and once she get in that little awkward position or whatever position she acts like she stuck and then she starts whining now i'm not sure why she does that but she do act like she wants to crawl and stuff but she gets stuck so um she is sitting up on her own but she do still falls over and then starts whining for one of us to get her um another thing is her little piano so um i'm just gonna pop a picture up of the play mat what i'm talking about so you guys can understand it a little bit better but at the end of that play mat where the piano is i got it sitting up a little bit instead of um laying like this so i got it like slanted a little bit so her feet can go up under it well her legs can go up under it and so she could look like she playing the piano and sometimes she just hold on to it and act like she about to stand up 
I'll be like, girl, slow down. What are you doing? But obviously she get like that and she want to start crying. So that's another thing. Um, so she is getting pretty active, but she's not crawling. She's not walking. She's not um, doing anything, anything else. But this morning, there she go, y'all. Say hey, y'all. She's so warm. Mm. But um, also this morning when Tony got up and got ready for work, he actually, well, I woke her up because I moved her to the bed. Because, y'all, these apartments, they told us that they was going to do a fire drill inspection or whatever. And they did not even do it. So, I was like, let me just put her in the bed. Just so when they do it, you know, it won't scare her too, too much. She'll be looking around or whatever. So, yeah. Um, so, um... Uh, I had got her and obviously she woke up and Tony had, you know, she sat up in the bed for about five to 10 minutes and then Tony had grabbed her. And you know how sometimes babies will reach out or whatever, but she actually halfway reached out to Tony. So I was pretty surprised and he was pretty surprised also. So she's not reaching out all the way, but it's coming soon. Say it's coming soon. Okay, so that's another thing and any other things do she have teeth yet y'all can pretty much see that she's teething well y'all seen it earlier she's teething and she's teething back but you guys guess what my baby got two teeth coming in at first it was just one it was right bottom one and then the next day i looked and I'm like, the other one coming in. So you guys, I did take a picture and I will pop it up right here on the screen. And yeah, I was so surprised. I was like my baby getting her teeth, like what? So yes, yeah, she has two coming in. I do give her this um, gum massager basically to help with it. And also she do have, um, she do have a uh, baby or gel thanks to her auntie Coco. Um, yeah, so um, that's pretty much it. She's teething. Um, and also, so she does not go back to her doctor's appointment until September and it's June. So she do not get seen when she turned eight months. Cause you know, normally when your baby turns two months, you go, to your very first doctor's appointment besides um besides the uh you know second day uh being into this world when you go for a checkup or whatever other than that or and besides the six weeks appointment so then once they hit two weeks i mean two months they go two four six and then she'll go back when she turned nine months don't ask me why yeah so she'll go back when she turned nine months and they will actually she won't be getting none of them shots that they gave her so the type of shots that she probably won't be getting no more is dtap hib hepatitis b polio and pcb 13. so those are the five shots that she actually got one of them was oral she had to take it by mouth and two of the shots were within one and I can't remember which of the two shots was within one. I think the HIV and PCV 13 was in one. So in total, she got three shots and one went in her mouth. So um, they will actually, instead of her getting those shots, they will actually be testing for lead. So I'm guessing because now is the time where, you know, um, babies are starting to eat table food. They're starting to eat baby food. And so, yeah, another thing is how is she liking the baby food? So the last video that y'all seen, she only ate them three types of baby foods. We have not picked her up any more baby foods because we wanted to see how well she do with them. She did pretty well. Some of them, it took her time to adjust, just like the banana one. The banana one was sweet. But I'm finna try to let y'all see her teeth. Say hey. Say my name, Skyla. <laughs> Peekaboo. Y'all see? Y'all see it? Peekaboo. Mm. Hey, my goodness. Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> okay, so, you know, I. You know, I try to like have fun with my baby, like you know, just you know, make her smile and stuff. Peekaboo, peekaboo. 
<laughs> with them two teeth at the bottom. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, yeah, so she is getting two teeth, and I pretty much think that's it. I think that's her little update. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you comment down below. You have anything you want to say? <laughs> yeah. So y'all, my I, this battery is charging, and now the battery that I had in here, the other one is in there charging. Like, why both of these batteries are in charge? Like, come on now. That's the end of this video. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, stand up with me, sit down with me, uh, talks with Skylar, laughs with Skylar. You wanna laugh one more again for them? You wanna laugh one more time for them? <laughs> You wanna laugh one more time for you? You wanna laugh one more time? Okay, so anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. And make sure you comment down below and let us know what you think. But until next time, y'all, we will catch you guys in our next video. Say bye, mommy. Say bye, mommy. Say bye. Boom. Boo. 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 <laughs> say bye bye. Let's let y'all see these things one more time. Woo! Yes! Hey, 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 hey. Shawty got teeth and I'm not gonna get bit. Hey, hey, bye y'all.